this is a chassis dynamometer. Dynamometer literally just measures power output, so it's like a treadmill for a car. So we're gonna be doing today is dialing in the fuel and ignition with our engine control computer. So this is a new, new to us engine. We've got a you know completely customizable engine control computer. So we're gonna put it on the roller, see what it likes, see what's gonna make the most power reliably, and get it dialed in, and we'll be ready to go. We're, we're measuring the power output to see like the changes that I make, how they, how the car responds to it. What's going on? Hi, Fit. Jason. Kevin. Good to meet you. What's going on? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I ran a dyno for the past eight years in Phoenix, so I know what the, the filth is all about. <laughs> so what's your, what's your best guess on uh, horsepower here? I don't know, I mean, it's got stock cams in it. Uh, it does have a little bit more compression, but I have no idea on the history of the motor or who built it, so uh, I'm just gonna try to you know, give it what it wants and make it healthy. Anything above 150 horsepower is probably enough to go sideways on dirt, so. Um, I mean, I think, I think if it makes 160, Aaron will be pretty disappointed. There again, it is I, what it is. I, I looked but up some, some dynos from similar cars and yeah, like... It's, that's about the power range. It's a, yeah. it's a NA 2.5 right. liter. It's a little tiny. Right. I, I gotta see if I can fit my hips in an Aaron sized spot. Hmm. These hips don't lie. <laughs> These hips don't shrink. Yeah. You ready for some pulls? Here goes the pulls. I'm gonna watch for detonation. Cool off just a little bit. All right, yeah. <laughs> just the last thing I want to do is like, yeah, get greedy. Get right off the bat. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather sneak up on it. Uh huh. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. The motor's uh, giving you good signs though. It's not knocking the springs out. Oh no, it's it's not. Motor doesn't care. Yeah, it's all so still. What are, what are the readings telling us? Uh, well, these readings right here are pretty much junk. Yeah, we're, we gotta get the dyno synced up again, but I'm I'm just starting really soft and sneaking up on it, make sure it's healthy, and that it pulls through cleanly. And I'm getting, basically what we're modeling, we're modeling airflow through the engine. So what I'm doing is getting that model dialed first, and then I'll experiment with changes to the air fuel ratio and the timing, and that's where the power is gonna come from. So right now I'm making sure that the way I've modeled the engine and the software is accurate, that's what I'm verifying now. So power output right now is pretty secondary. We are a hundred horsepower right now off of what was, what Aaron's hoping for. Pounds. What the Ooh. hell is the mean vibration though? It could be these tires, but did it feel more like drive shaft vibration? I was afraid to stay in it until the, I mean, I st stayed under the end of the pull just to get data, but it felt real sketchy. Yeah, it looked real sketchy. The trunk, yeah. the trunk was shaking like crazy. Yeah, so I can compare pulls. The scaling just doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I can just do a couple of pulls in second gear. Yeah, that's fine. And dial in fuel yeah. and see what just makes it perfect. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, we'll call that done. Okay. That way yeah. we're not dealing with all the crazy yeah. RPM. Sounds good to me. All right, I like that. We have some vibrations. I think it's the tires. Um, these tires are they're they're so heavy sidewall. They're a heavy tire. There's a lot of rotating mass going on with these things. I think it's just it's just the nature of these tires to shake because they're so big and they're not made for the street. These are specific rally tires for gravel. And at the speeds that it was vibrating at was like well over 100 miles an hour. So um, yes, Aaron will probably hit that, but on dirt it's way different than it is on steel little rollers. We're gonna do a couple second gear pulls and 
just kind of dial the rest of the fuel in right now. I think we made, what did we make, 131, 150? 130 and 146. Yeah, so 130 horse and 150 foot pounds. Ready? Probably hits 160, 170. So not not far off from where we were thinking. I think we're about there, honestly. You done, Zo? I think so. Okay. All that. Ultimately, it is. It, it's not leaking any fluids. The car runs great. Uh, it runs super smooth. It, the transmission seems to shift fine. Brakes work. Uh, all the lights work. All the systems work. So I don't see there any reason that Aaron couldn't take it a on Friday to rally ready, and then b if he doesn't hit a tree in rally ready then I think it'll just be come back, recheck a couple things, uh, wash the car, load it in the trailer, and get on the road. It makes all the right noises. It does all the right stuff. It's nice that it idles. Yeah. All right.